open-handed he gives to the poor, his justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the priest, St. Camillus, with a, with a singular grace of charity towards the sick, pour out upon us by his merits a spirit of love for you, so that serving you and our neighbor, we may at the hour of our death pass safely over to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O fountains of the earth, for the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? Or how have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt. From the place of slavery, I released you. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God most high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams and myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To, to the, the upright, upright, I will, I will show, show the saving, saving power, power of, of God. God. Gather my fruitful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I, I will I show, show the saving power of God. of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, upright I, will I will show the saving, the saving power, power of God. God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright, I will show the saving, saving power, power of, God. of God. When you do these things, I shall be deaf to it. Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, 
And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To, to the, the upright, upright, I will, I will show, show the saving, saving power, power of God. God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will arise with this generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today in the first reading, we hear one of the classic formulations of the spiritual life from the book of the prophet Micah. Here, in a sense, God is being put on trial by the Israelites that's the format of the book of Micah, and God is making his defense. And one of the things that he says at the end of the first reading that we heard puts it very simply for what, what it is that we're to do in our lives. He says, you have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. It's really, in a sense, that simple, Yet simple obviously doesn't always mean easy. Things can still be difficult with that, but today I think we can take courage to just kind of have a, maybe a bit of a reset as we begin the week to see maybe things aren't always as complicated as we might make them out to be, but all we have to do is do the right, love goodness, and walk humbly with our God. Let us stand and present our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis and all bishops, that they do the right, love goodness, and walk humbly with our God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, that they enact laws that promote the dignity of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and suffering, that they receive the care they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For EMTs, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity might be, my, may, by the example of blessed Camillus, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, Lord of hosts. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, yes. Savior, Savior of the world, the world. For, for by your cross, cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set, set us, us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of, of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord. art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on, on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not Lord. into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Camillus, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.